hi guys welcome back to my channel it's alice here and today i'm going to show you how i make um these little mini shaker envelopes um 100 inspired by ara over at the paper treasury um i yeah i'll just show you how i do it i obviously didn't make up this idea but i really love making them and i've had a few people ask me for a tutorial so this is how i do it um, I use this little um, envelope die. It is from um, Kaiser Craft, and yeah, I got it from Spotlight. If I can find a link to one below, I will add that in the comments. Okay, so I um, cut that out of pad and paper. Um, yeah, it doesn't do the score lines, but I just you do them yourself. So just fold sort of like notch to notch and what I do is I do all the folds so you can tell where the inside will be so fold them up well I at least fold these two side ones the bottom one's not as important because you don't need to do that just yet but I definitely fold the side ones because you need to know where it folds in one more okay so what I do next is I grab some tool that I get on a roll like this. I'm just using white, but you can use whatever you want. Um, and then I just make sure it's wide enough to cover here and it doesn't actually need to be that long. And then I sew, I'll show you on this one, up, start about halfway down here, two thirds of the way to the bottom where this corner meets here and go up and around and down to halfway down there. So you've made than I prepared earlier because I can't go over to my sewing machine so see here it goes up and around and down and I've actually double stitched these just because my machine's being really silly and I think that the double stitching which I actually prefer it just was a bit wonky the first time so I just did two so up and around and down so you've got a little pocket like a little yeah like a pocket so um if you go and do that I'll do that to these two I won't do that to these two right now because they're just my examples so I've sewn around there then you need a little sequin mix which I have right here let me grab a spoon so I've just mixed this up based on the colors in the collection I've been making a few different things so I've got some sequins I don't like my sequins over full I like them to be able to move around so yeah that's probably enough put that in and then what I'm going to do is sew across this bit here so what to keep in mind um if you fold that in and then oops, I fold this one up you need the line to be below where this is here because you don't want the line showing up here well i don't so i'll just sew across there to keep those sequins in come back here i feel like i'm on a cooking show so i've gone across there i'm just going to take my scissors and just trim the extra tool off so that it's not all bulky and then fold the sides in trim the threads off fold the sides in make sure the bottom's all folded up and then just take some I use wet glue I don't think double-sided tape well no double-sided tape that I've got is strong enough although you probably could use red line tape or something but I don't have that and just put a little bit of glue along those lines and just hold to dry these ones here I've got from earlier I just pop little um, bulldog clips or I've got little clamp things that I put on there just to hold those down I have to put my lid on my glue because it dries out really quickly now um, we'll get on to decorating um, I've been making well this lot I made I sort of made in a bulk lot I think I made eight maybe all together and what I find um, works for me when I'm trying to get a few embellishments made is kind of have a um, like a plan for each one. So you can see here, some of them have got a long element across the bottom, so a tag or a um, little fishtail, a ticket, a, ta a label, some it's called crepe paper you know something along there then I've all of them I've got one of these little starburst seal things on them they've all got some um, 
double-sided tape they've all got some gold thread well not everyone but those are sort of the elements i put on each one layered some foam tape on them most of them have a flower because i printed out a lots of these flowers from the digital so um they have like a little other image like you know something else some leaves and then a saying on the top so i'm trying to just sort of be able to not have to overly think well, obviously think about what i'm putting but not go crazy thinking about what i'm going to put on each one so for example so i've got these three here and then i'm thinking oh i'm gonna i try and do some on both sides too so that goes nicely on that love the black and white i can go over that side and then on this black and white one might be quite cool to put that um i use wet glue or a glue gun mostly this wet glue it's like a silicon glue that I can get here and I find it's really good for sticking down quite quickly but still being able to move around so I stick that on I might just chop the end of that off um, put some gold thread so I will I might just fast forward through my decorating but next because I don't think anyone needs to hear that okay so I will fast forward this and I will be back soon Okay, so once you've done your little embellishment clusters, um, I like to, well with these ones, I added a little um, phrase. So these are all digitals from the, from AC Digitals, and I um, printed them all out. So I just generally just stick them on the top to add a little bit of um, extra detail there you could puff those up as well if you wanted but I quite you know I don't want to go too crazy with the layers else they might not fit in anything but I mean just keep layering all you want it's up to you I don't think there's any rules as to what you do but that's it then you can embellish with um, you could put some enamel dots on there some Nuvo drops. I totally forgot about adding some crepe paper ruffles on there. I really like the texture of crepe paper. You could um, add some little bits of um, chul in there. I found this really cool like iridescent paper the other day at a little shop and got some of that. So you could add like things like that. Just look for different textures, whatever you want. And then I've just been packaging them up like this, but. However you want to do them, stick them on, use them as an embellishment, but they're actually really easy. If you didn't have um, a die, you could just make a wee template from a small envelope. There's lots of envelope templates online, so you could find one that's the size you like and then print that out and use that as a template. But yeah, lots of, um, lots of options. I just really like how these turned out. I love the size of this little envelope, so I will link it down below if I can find it. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, um, just ask me down below. Make sure you give this thumb video a thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, all those things. I love having you around and um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much. Bye.